Hey YouTube, it's Ashley3G here with a review of the Griffin Clarify. I did an unboxing about a week ago, and since that time I've had a really fun time taking this case around and trying it out. I have a lot of stuff to tell you guys about this case, so let's go ahead and get right into it. I noticed on the unboxing video that a lot of you left comments and you said that this case looks really nice and you're right it really does look nice in person as well and um, I appreciate you guys noticing the fact that it does look unique. It is um, a slider style case but it does have a little bit of flair in that it has a shiny middle and the slider piece on the bottom isn't cut straight across it actually has a little wave right there so that's really nice and as I mentioned before, that logo is kind of embossed and matches the rest of the case and it looks really nice. And then on top here you have that matte finish with this little slider piece here that will go over your actual camera lens to aid in some of your picture taking. So before I talk about the picture taking aspect of the case, I'm going to go ahead and show you how easily it slides in there. I did this on, in the unboxing video, but I've taken it off and put it on uh, quite a few times since that video, and it really is very easy to put on and to take off. So you just slide the bottom on right there. There's not a huge issue with the screen shield peeling. There is a little bit over on this side in the um, bottom half of the phone, or the top half, but that could be due to the fact that I have my my screen protector kind of towards that side anyway so that's probably why, why it's peeling up but nothing in the corners uh, just really on that one side as I mentioned in the last video the cutout on the bottom is awesome and then your cutout over here is great as well it's kind of cut lower on the bottom half so that when you're holding the phone in your hand and you're trying to push those buttons you don't feel a sharp edge right there. They're really, really easy to access. And, you know, I just flipped the vibe right there. That's how easy it was. And then I just put it back. So really easy to work with. And then your whole top here is pretty much cut out except for in the corners. This home button is pretty easy to push. And, of course, your headset jack. There's a pretty generous space there. So I imagine you could use a whole array of different headphones for the jack there. No scratches on the back. You know, the shiny part looks like it would be prone to scratches. It is a little prone to fingerprints, but not as bad as you might think. But like I said, no scratches here. Certainly no scratches on the matte finish. I have been using it quite a lot, so that's a pretty good sign. Also, on some cases, the matte finish, like this one has, um, I've had them peel before, and so far this one hasn't peeled, so that's another good sign. And now on to pretty much what the case is for. It is to aid in taking those close-up shots, particularly text. Um, if, you have, if you're trying to take pictures of like notes or something out of a book, I know that in biology lab sometimes there would be a report up front that was to serve as an, as an example of the type of assignment you could turn in. And everyone would race up to the front and either try to take pictures with their cell phones, which was always blurry, and you'd have to piece together or you'd have to write it down so I can see where this would be useful for that I can only imagine how useful it might be for you guys out there I don't know what you guys want to take close-up pictures of but let me tell you this thing does work I use an iPhone 3GS and I got a comment in my last video that this case was really for the 3G since the 3G does not have that close-up feature where you can kind of zoom into the area that you want by touching the screen. So I was a little worried that the case might not be as useful for me since I do own a 3GS and the 3GS already has that feature. However, this case does work for the 3GS uh, as I've come to find out. Now the only way I can prove that to you or show that to you is to show you sample pictures that I've taken I took a picture of a watch, I think a quarter, um, a safety pin, maybe a seashell. I don't know if I'm going to be including that picture in there or not. But I took several pictures, basically. And what I want you to pay attention to, in particular, the picture of the watch and of the quarter. Not so much the overall picture, but try to read the words in the pictures and try to look at the numbers on the watch, and you'll see a pretty good difference in quality between the two. So... I'm going to end this video with those pictures. This Griffin Clarify case is absolutely phenomenal. It's the second Griffin product that I've had that kind of made me go, you know, 
they're really doing something pretty cool over there at Griffin. Uh, the first time I saw one of their products, it was the Griffin Wave, and they had that innovation with the, you know, cableless speaker type of system that just amplifies sound acoustically. And this is the second time that I've kind of been like, wow, they're really doing something nice with this um, camera aid here. So you guys check out griffintechnology.com and definitely check out this case, especially if you need those close-up shots and you just want better picture quality from your iPhone.